On, uh, you, I can tie them, you can tie them on straight shank hooks, larger hooks, cause, uh, or smaller smaller boobies. They'll eat big ones, they'll eat small ones. I like to tie often on a, so I'm tying on a C49S number eight scud hook. Okay, this particular pattern. And as I mentioned during my, during the talks, there's a couple colors that really do stand out. Um, well with boobies and that is uh, for us an orange so I use uh, Fritz which is a Fritz is made in this it's a UK product it's a very tightly woven flashy uh, uh, chenille and the uh, gel they call it gel core because the, the core the white core in there is actually dyed orange as well so you don't see any white when you're tying with it and then uh, so that's the body of the fly and then they have a little tail just using uh, a fluorescent uh, yellow uh, strung marabou. So. You hold the package up in the light? In the light? Pardon me? Hold the package up in the name of the Fritz? Oh, sure. This is, a, this is a very interesting company to look at. It's called uh, www.flybox.co.uk. And uh, I buy actually a lot of materials off them. Uh, Fly box, Flybox.co.uk. Okay. Mm. So the key that the, the, the material that makes this fly work so well is is the foam. So you can buy cylindrical foam like that in different sizes and cut it and uh, make your eyes out of that. Or you can be lazy and tie by booby round eyes made by Rainies, and they're preformed, and it's very solid, uh, dense uh, foam that'll never fall apart. So, Rainies makes them. So the, I'm using these are medium yellow eyes. They come in six to a pack, and uh, they're not cheap. They're, they cost they cost a bit of money. They. You can buy booby foam eyes in white, preformed in white, black, yellow, and chartreuse green. And uh, this pattern, again, yellow and orange works so, and you get them in orange, uh, but I like using the yellow for this fly. Okay, so that's, that's the ingredients. Oops. There is a little solar powered battery in motor that goes in this thing as well to make it <laughs> move in the water. So, just a... And the reason I'm using six odd on this fly is that I've got to lash the eyes down. And uh, six odd's a little bit stronger than eight odd and I can really cinch it down. <clears throat> We'll just take some of our bright fluorescent uh, marabou and put a little bit of flash in the fly, a little bit of color. You'll you'll see you'll see uh, a lot of uh, booby patterns out there that have um, a lot of tinsel, tinsel over wings, or. Uh, holographic flash of blue over wings, some more flash in them, and, and they work fine. Uh, I found on this, on this particular style of pattern, or style, you don't, you don't need the, um, the, uh, the extra flash. There's enough in the, there's enough in the movement of the fly that uh, more than makes up for any flash it might be lacking. So I've just got a clump of, mar of the marabou here off. I'm just going to tie in a clump at the back end. Like so, and I'm just going to break it off so it's a little bit shorter. And the gel fritz is a very dense uh, um, chenille. 
flashy. It comes in different diameters, different sizes, and it comes in uh, UV as well. This one's just fluorescent orange. Um, so I'm just going to tie this in at the back. So, you know, remember the, the, the secret to uh, being successful with these flies is the movement through the water and getting them down into the water column using them often with those, uh, the, the fastest sinking line you've got. Deep seven, the real deep seven is the one I like to use. So that now we're... Large, uh, Pardon me? Pardon me? Is that a medium or a large chenille? They, they call it medium. It, it's 50, when you look on their website, it's 15, they call it their 15 millimeter um, uh, chenille. So I go about, uh, I need to leave about uh, a third of the, of the shank of the hook left uh, so that I can I've got room for the eyes. And see, when I was tying it, I was folding it back, so I only made, only made three turns, but I, I still want to do that to uh, make sure it's, it's laying back. So. And you gotta make sure this is really cinched down. That's not easy to tie with. <laughs> so we've got, uh, <clears throat> there, and then trim off the excess up that's come up the front. So remember, uh, this, it's, it's very important you remember to tie this fly on with a loop knot. A non slip loop knot as well. So there's our eyes. So now we're just going to get everything folded back. So place the eye on the dumbbell eyes up front. And then we're going to lash them down. And after I tied them, I, I didn't bring it, but I uh, put a couple drops of uh, super glue over the uh, over the um, red thread that I've used to lash down the dumbbell eyes, and that that really really secures them in there, and they don't move. And this fly will last a long time. Mm hmm. Sorry, I can't hear you. Those look like booby eyes. I was being politically correct and called them dumbbell eyes. So. Brian, the, criti the criticism of boobies, uh, I know, and they're banned on some English reservoirs, is that the fish tend to take them fairly deeply. Yeah. Have you run into that? You know, I'd say uh, one out of. 25, 30 fish might eat it deep. If you're not quick on the take, uh, they, they can ingest them. I and that, that is the knock against boobies, that they eat them deep and they'll swallow, well, almost swallow them. Obviously it helps if you're gonna use a barbless hook. Um, and I don't, I tend not to get them hooked as deep by using the smaller, wider gap hooks. But that that that, that is one of the reasons why they don't allow on some uh, still waters in the UK, so, you know. but I, I really, you know, I know I've had a lot other people comment on it, but I really haven't had that issue with these things. I mean, as I said yesterday when he talked about these things, uh, you know, they they don't work every day. But I'll tell you, if you're fishing a clear water lake with marl bottom, and there's fish on the shoal, and they're not happy. 
This is a happy meal. They'll eat it. Okay. Can they ever trim the bottom to open the gap? No. I just leave them like that. And this thing, when it's stripped through the water, it pulses fast. So it's going boink, boink, boink. When you pause, it comes up. Boink, boink, boink. It comes. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll fish them in, um, in, uh, in the middle of the lake, in, you know, in 30 feet of water, and, uh, and do quite with them, do quite well with them as well. Uh, but this color combination of fluorescent orange and fluorescent yellow or fluorescent orange and uh, fluorescent peach are, are good colors, but orange is very, very dominant in the color that you want to try. So a uh, very simple pattern to tie, um, and it does make it a lot easier when you're using the, uh, to tie them using the preformed eyes. It's all about the aerodynamics of it going through the water. 